Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make very easy and delicious artisan bread that is no need. Therefore, you do not need to have a stand mixer. And this recipe is going to use the overnight proving method. So if you want to have bread tomorrow, a night before the day you want to bake the bread is the day you want to actually mix the dough. Let me show you how is that is done. So here are the ingredients. Three cups of bread flour. 1.5 cups of just room temperature water, a quarter teaspoon of yeast, and one, tea uh, one teaspoon of salt. Let me show you how that is done. In a big mixing bowl like this, you put all of the flour. You can use all-purpose flour. It might come out a little bit flat, but taste is going to be nice still. And then one side, you'll put salt. The other side, you're putting yeast. You mix it very well, so it's not gonna salt is not gonna directly touching the yeast. And the next thing you need to do is you just put the water. This is 1.5 cup of water, and you mix it thoroughly until there is no dry flour. It seems like it's well mixed. So the next thing we need to do is we just cover it with a lid or plastic wrap and then leave it at the room temperature a uh, minimum of 8 hours all the way to 24 hours I'm gonna check it tomorrow morning my dough has been rested for 16 hours and then let me show you it has risen pretty well and then it's very buoyant but good tension it can smell sweetness so it's well uh, fermented so it has been well proved I can say that so the next thing you need to do is you will flour your pastry mat or any kind of kneading mold you're using it. Also, I prepare my Dutch oven with parchment paper. I'm going to well flour it. You're going to turn your dough upside down into the well flour surface. It should be coming out pretty nicely. And then you're going to put the a little more flour on top of it. And then with a uh, pastry scraper or any kind of scraper you have, you're going to pick it up. And then if that is sticky too much, you're going to put a little bit more of flour. Pick it up. Pick it up one more time. You're kind of folding it. You can actually like pop the big bubble. Don't worry, we're going to uh, leave it proof for probably at least one more hours after we reshape it. And same side down, the surface is somewhat smooth. You're gonna put it back into the prepared parchment paper and cover it and wait for at least one more hour to actually have final rise. My bread has been rested for one hour. It's moving again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually score it. You can use sharp knife or a razor like this to score it. I'm gonna just make a X. And my oven has been heated for 450 degree Fahrenheit with the Dutch oven in. So I'm gonna take it out the Dutch oven. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna put my prep dough in the heated Dutch oven. The lid has been heated as well, so be very careful when you handle it and you close it. You put it back to the oven at 450, you bake with lid on for 30 minutes and then lid off for 10 to 15 minutes. So I bake the bread, lid on for 30 minutes and lid off for 15 minutes and then I just pull it out from the oven. Look at this beauty! All the side is very crusty, well baked. Well risen, it's hollow. This is a great looking bread. You can actually bake it at home and then share with your family and friend. And then I wish you can hear that, but let me try. It actually sings to you. 
it's still baking inside I can see so anyway I'm gonna let it rest for at least 30 to 1 hour and then I'm gonna open it up and then I'm gonna show you what this uh, <clears throat> how the bread looks like inside my bread has cooled down for 30 minutes and then it's time for me to taste it let me show you you see that all the it's still steamy which is nice do you see all this like you know air pocket well baked there's a good crumb and there is a good crust and I'm gonna have a piece it's kind of bouncy but it's coming back so I'm gonna taste it and then I'm gonna let you know what it tastes like It's very crusty outside because it has because the bread was proof for overnight I can actually have like it's lots of uh, flavor develop it's very it's a simple artisan bread with very simple ingredient but this is really nice bread you can make it and then make a sandwich out of it or go well with the salad and soup so I hope you enjoy my video and then when you try my recipe let me know how yours turned out if you have any kind of question or input, please put it in the comment box below. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, happy baking. Bye.